Alright guys, how's it going? So over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be taking a look at the Blender modelling tools. Now I will apologise in advance, I won't be modelling a donut. <laughs> but hopefully I can show you some nice workflows and hopefully I can kind of explain the mythology behind the tools. Now nothing is set in stone when it comes to modelling. You may have a better workflow, you may have a trick up your sleeve, I might be doing it even wrong. If that's the case, put a comment down below and let me know. So today I'm going to show you how to use the grid fill tool and I'm going to show you how to use the fill tool. So in traditional fashion, I'll keep the cube. And what I'll do here is, I'll tab into edit mode and I need a little bit of topology to work from so I'll come up to edge, I'll do subdivide and I'll make the number of cuts 3. Now in order to show the fill tool, we generally need a hole. So I'll select this face, I'll press X to delete and I'll delete the face. Now there's several ways you can use the fill tool. The shortcut for this is the F key. So let's try vertices first. So this is points. I can select the first point. In fact, let me just quickly change the mat cap and it might display a little bit better for you guys. So I've selected the first point. I'll select the second holding shift, third and fourth. And I can press the F key. And it pretty much does the job. It fills the hole. So let me quickly undo this and I'll show you edges. Now edges you can actually do something like this. You can select both edges and hit F. Or you can just select one edge and hit F. And again, great tool, fast to work with. I'll undo the hole again and this time I'll use faces. So generally what you'll do is you'll select around the hole and you'll press F. So that's the basics of the fill tool. Now let me just quickly show you with a plane because it'll give you a better understanding. What I'll do here is I'll just quickly select these faces and I'll delete them. I'll come to the edge mode. I'll select this edge here. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. And if you press F, you can see what it's doing. Now this is a great way to quickly build topology. But what happens if you have something slightly bigger? Hey, hey. So something like this. And we use the edge tool like normal. And we press F. Check out what it does. Now to be honest, Blender's actually done a really good job here. But it's not perfect. So there's actually one workaround for this. So what you can actually do is you can select the faces. You can press X and you can dissolve the faces. And that'll leave one big end gone or one big polygon. Now what you can do now is you can select the points and you can actually use the join method. So I'll select this vertex, I'll select this one and I'll press J on the keyboard. Same with this side, press J again and you'll notice that it's a quick fix. So using the fill tool for this probably isn't the best method. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the exact same polys and I'm actually going to show you the grid fill tool. So one of the methods is you can actually do like a loop select, so if I press Alt and left click, you'll see that it's loop selected. I'll bring up the search bar and I'll look for grid fill. And you can check out what it does here. It fills the grid perfectly. And this is actually a great tool, especially if you have large topology. And it'll try and do its best to work out the topology. And just to give you an example, what I'll do here is a circle. I'll do a grid fill. And it's pretty much done a perfect quad of a grid. Now you can see here in the grid fill that you have a span type. So you can actually control this up and down. And that's pretty much a basic overview of the fill and grid tool. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if I'm wrong, put a comment down below. And I probably am wrong. You know what to do. Peace.